Welcome back to the final installment of our current scene coloring breakdown series here on the Sweet November Stamps YouTube channel. I'm Amy, co-owner and illustrator for Sweet November Stamps, and we have been working with SN Guy Baron and the Spookville Horizon Lines Background Builder uh, to create a haunted graveyard scene filled with eerie mist uh, throughout it. And this is where we're going to bring that look all together. And I'm going to start by adding some dirt and grass into that misty scene. So I'm going to come in with some E44. Beneath our feet of our vampire. And I'm just letting it all meld together with that base of kind of grayish vi blue violet um, ground. So we want to see patches of dirt down here. Pulling our shadows from him a little bit darker. And 43. Again, using the side of that nib, holding it way back here so there's very little pressure on the front of that marker. see a little bit of dirt in here and a little bit of that E43 in there. E42. So because when you layer you know, alcohol markers, any color that you lay down first is going to affect the colors that you lay down on top of it. And that's why we can put these browns over these blue violets and create, you know, you still get that shading and shadowing from the blue violet, but then we also start to see uh, the, the, the ground come into play as well. E41. Just getting very light hints of it as we move further back away from our main character here. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with some very desaturated greens. And I think I'm going to start with like some YG61. We're going to start getting some green in to our hillside up here. Just right over any of my darker patches. I'm still leaving some white for the mist. But anywhere where I have a little bit darker layer of blue violets, I'm going to add a little bit of green. Try not to take it over the uh, tombstones themselves. Okay. 
and I'll even merge it with some of that dirt color that we laid in. sure I got it everywhere where I want it. We'll go a little bit darker with some YJ63. Ground that tree end up there. Dip in the landscape. We'll play up our little shadows. And then down here, I'm going to be kind of generous with it again. Always kind of deepening and darkening the bottom of our scene a bit more. So we're going to come in uh, with some W, I think W3, W2. Add a little bit of color, well, gray tone to our little tombstones. Okay, I think we are ready to start uh, getting our finishing touches going. And the biggest thing that's going to start giving our misty look here is not with a marker at all, uh, but with a white colored pencil. So I'm just going to put those away. And yes, you might think, yeah, why didn't we just do color it normal and put white pencil over it? You could, you could do that. It's not going to be as dramatic as if you kind of color the spaces, the lighter spaces as we've done through the last few weeks, because um, this just enhances that. Um, so I've got a white colored pencil. There's the name of it. If anybody's interested, but I'm, you know, any, you've got Prismas or whatever. And I'm just going to start lightly running it back and forth. And you want to make sure you're, you're not adding pencil till the very end. Because once we add the pencil in, we can't put our Copics back in over top. It'll ruin the nibs of our markers. So, just going to through the lighter areas that we've already established with our lighter coloring. I'm just gonna start getting layers of our white pencil down. We're gonna 
do the same over here, pick it up. That's where I'm going to try to hide that pink that I pulled. And we'll soften. white space here. It's going to make that look a little bit more natural as our mist comes across. And just long horizontal, you know, kind of strands of white mist banding across our sky up here. I think that's going to camouflage our little bit of pink a bit just well enough. Okay. And then we're going to continue this throughout the scene. So wherever we have our lighter spaces, we're just going to soften those edges. with this white pencil. Now up here at his shoulder, you know, the top part of him is pretty, but we've lightened it up here. So that tells me that I can take my white pencil kind of across that section and start doling it down like it's going in front of him in that area. Same through here. I'm going to take some of that pencil right in front of him. And that's going to help even more it obscure those lines. Even though I kind of wiped them away with a uh, baby wipe before um, I started coloring, this is going to, whatever lines that are still there, it's going to help obscure them even more and give it that kind of misty look. the lighter area going across here. So we're really going to take our white pencil back and forth through there and through here. this really light area down here. And then we'll lighten up as it gets darker down there towards the ground. And then I'm just going to kind of find the areas continue to play up our lighter parts on him down here I need to get a little bit more going I'm not too worried about the edges because um, this is going to get trimmed down with a, a die cut. I think I'm going to add a little bit of glow, you know, a little bit of white to our glow in our moon. Soften that up. Since I've got the pencil out, why not? So now you start to really get that sense of, you know, those strands of mist obscuring so that we're only seeing patches of the dark outfit 
on our little vampire. I'm just going to kind of burnish this just with my the oils in my finger a bit. There we go. Looking pretty spooky there. Now I'm going to pull out my Sharpie Extra Fine White Pen. And just farther away from our moon, I'm going to dot in just a few stars. Not too many since we've got the mist playing throughout. But we just want them peeking here and there. I'm kind of debating. I don't think I need to take any through him. I think we've obstructed the lines pretty well with our pencil that I don't feel like I need to really reinforce them with a Sharpie. All right, so I'm going to pause this for a moment. I'll die cut it out, get a sentiment on there, and you can see it as a completed card through the magic of editing. <laughs> All right, so here we are with the finished card. I went ahead and found a sentiment from an old Paper Smooches stamp set that I liked to pair with our SN Guide Baron here. It says, Tomb It May Concern. Nice little pun play on words there. And while I was flipping through looking for a sentiment, I also you know, came across the little bat silhouettes and I thought they would be a perfect finishing touch up there in our night sky. So I added the little black, the bat silhouettes up against the moon and the sky back there. One other finishing touch uh, after die cutting it out and putting it together. I had forgotten to color the handle of his cane there. So I just did a little gold gel pen uh, from Pear Blossom Press and added a little bit of gold to the topper on his cane. And so there we have it. We've got our finished card with our misty graveyard scene using SN Guy Baron, the Spookville Horizon Lines Background Builder set. I hope you enjoyed this uh, scene coloring breakdown series. I'll be back next week with a brand new one. Uh, until then, stay crafty, my friends. Bye.